Hi, so this is a quick video to look at how we can use NetTools to connect to different um, Active Directories or um, directory services. So by default, um, when you run NetTools, you run it on a machine, which is typically joined to a domain. And that domain information plus your local credentials are used by NetTools to actually find the server you want to connect to. So in most cases, uh, when you have a server, so on most of these um, options, you have a machine as a server or domain you want to connect to. Um, if you don't specify anything um, in these fields, then by default, NetTools will use the, the default domain of the workstation and your credentials to connect to that, that um, Active Directory. So by just clicking a um, refresh on the go on this, this particular test, it's actually found that directory and um, it's actually retrieved the information. Now, in most cases, that's, that's fine, um, but there may be certain circumstances where you want to use a different set of credentials or you want to connect to a different server or a specific server. Um, um, and there's a couple of different ways you can do that. So within NetTools, if we actually um, still want to connect to the same server in the same domain, if we just specify the server name and then connect, connect uh, click refresh, it will then um, connect to that server and show you the details again. Um, or if you want to actually use a different set of credentials, then we have to actually do something slightly differently. Um, so within NetTools, there's this option, which is called connection profiles. And so within connection profiles, we can actually then define how we actually can connect to the Active Directory from a profile. So we actually create a profile. And so what we'll do here, we'll create one called AD and we'll leave it as default. So this is basically going to do exactly the same thing. So we can actually in here, we can sort of specify the server name. And we can then save that and say, yep, this is, this is what we're going to do for AD. This server's also got um, lightweight directory services installed on it as well. So we can actually specify a new profile, which is called LDS. So this is on local host. And the port number for this one is actually 50,000. And we're going to use standard sort of set of information there. So for credentials, we're still going to use the same. But if we wanted to, we can actually specify different credentials or actually different bind types in terms of um, the various bind types which are available. So negotiations used by both the current credentials and uh, bind with specific uh, credential options. So it will use negotiate. And so by default, if it's an Active Directory or it's a, a service, it will actually try and use Kerberos first. And if that doesn't work, it will then default back into NCLM to actually do authentication. So we can actually provide these credentials here. Um, now with NetTools, um, you can specify the credentials, but you don't actually specify the password at this point, um, what we actually do is we actually, so if we just put in, we want to connect with the administrator, if I can spell it, administrator, and we click prompt. And then what will happen is when you actually go to use this profile, um, NetTools will actually prompt you for that password. Now NetTools never saves passwords, it's actually only held in memory and it's held encrypted in memory. Once you've actually entered that password, it will then use that that cache password or cache credentials when you actually use the profile again. <clears throat> but the first time you use it, you'll be prompted to the password. So if we choose this one now, save it. And if we now, if we go up here, we can see that we've actually got extra entries here, which is now we can actually select the profile, which is LDS. And if we click go, it prompts us for a password. So we now provide the password and click go. And we can see we got the details back from that. Um, if we actually click refresh again, you can see that we weren't actually asked for those pass, those credentials again, it's actually using the cached. And if we want to, we can actually then change this to use the AD profile and this will connect to the Active Directory and then bring back the Active Directory details. So we can actually see those Active Directory um, permissions in this particular case was using ACL browser. So we've got a couple of options. We should actually do that connection piece. Um, also what we can do is that um, in this particular sort of instance, we can actually choose which is default. So we can actually specify a default profile. So in this case, we'll specify AD as our default. Um, and we save and close that. So now we don't actually need to specify a server name. So when we leave it blank, it knows the AD profile is default and it will use that, that profile when we actually connect to the actual Active Directory. And so there you go, it's just refreshed and it's actually used that Active Directory one. And we can actually prove that by if we then go and set. So now we set LDS as default and we save that and close. And now when we connect, we can see that we're actually getting property for credentials because I've just pressed save. 
and that's now gone into the local LDS partition. So that was a quick demo of how to actually use the connection profiles and uh, enable you to connect to different Active Directories and LDAP directories.